All right, we're gonna maintain the random idea thing and, 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 and talk about random ideas in the current time, but it really comes to mind, really, uh, with having nothing prepared. Um, we could talk about music, for example. Uh, and I can tell you, one thing I can tell you is that after, after, you know, you know, the way the world has been over the last, I would say even like 10 years, it's absolutely ridiculous. I mean, the world has gone through so much. Everything's been so crazy that, you know, we don't, we don't even have much to talk or think about, you know, really when it comes down to it. It's been a, it's been a really insane decade. I'd say the last 10 years has been really, really insane. Um, I could talk more about the self persona and ego maybe I think, but I think, you know, everything is very clear. Like when I say that and the way I've, I feel like I've explained it well, but you know, mind you, whenever I say something, whether I'm explaining something on my channel or saying it in real life, there's certain people that catch on and actually understand what I'm talking about or are actually able to formulate it. And there's a lot of people who get, I have no idea what I'm saying. Um, what can we talk about? Yeah, so again, persona, self, and ego. I mean, it's very straightforward. You know, yourself is literally yourself. And, and, and you know what you see. You look in the mirror. You, you have a routine every day and whatnot. And, you know, and, and, then, and then you have um, your persona and ego. And it's like that. It's that. It's this ego and persona that you may even share with many other people. And that means something in the world. And that is something like that's a reality in the world. That's like what the public or even private organizations, you know, think about you or think about what you are when they think about you. You know, there's a lot that can go into the self persona and ego. Um, you know, and, and, and ego is a big thing for us. I mean, let's face it, you know, ego, if ego is a big thing for children, how big is it for adults? Because I'd say ego is much bigger when it comes to adults. You know, children, children, they their egos are kind of in check. You know, a child fights another child in, in third grade in class or in school and the child gets suspended and the child feels so terrible about it. You know, he's so scared sitting in that principal's office. You know what I mean? He's sitting in that principal's office thinking, you know, uh, my belly's right. Yeah, thinking about, you know, how much trouble he's going to be in, what his parents are going to say, how disappointed they're going to be. You know, he's already thinking about that. And then, you know, and, and, and then he goes through the whole thing where he's got to spend the whole day at home being, being away from all the kids and it's, and it's his fault. And, you know, and, and he's caught a lot of grief for it. And then, and, and, you know, he's been, he's been disciplined about it and stuff. You know, but but kids, their ego is just, you know, they're, they're in check. You know, it's like, okay, you know, I don't want to get in trouble, you know, so I'm not going to do that, you know. But even kids do have egos. Like if another kid, like, it's like a, some kids are really, are, are kind of odd. You know, you can have a really fat kid come up to a slim kid and say, you're the fattest guy in the class. And the slim kid, you know, I mean, I mean, certain, you know, I, I, and kids are, kids are very clever also and their egos aren't that big. I mean, I mean, if, if a kid walked up to the, the slim kid would just say, oh, yeah, well, you're a fatty. Why don't you go look at yourself? Hey, everybody, tell me who's fat and who's skinny. And that's pretty much the end of discussion, right? Between children with adults, it's like, you know, um, if somebody comes up to me and says, let's say, let's say someone's talking to me and they go, your hair looks really ridiculous. I've never seen somebody with that kind of hair. You know, I don't like what's the big deal now? Now, if that guy or girl has um, the most ridiculous hairstyle in the world and they're telling me that my hair is weird, you know, I'm going to be forced to say very rude things that could even lead to like violence, to be very honest, you know, um, 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 and, 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 and that could happen, you know, like if someone's wearing fake hair for like somebody's wearing a wig for example and they're telling me that my hair is funny and i'm looking at them thinking you have a goddamn wig on you know um you know i'm gonna be like you know i'm, I'm gonna react very strongly versus let's say somebody who has hair like me or they have a decent hairstyle or something and they say that you know the person may be coming from a good place they might be you know just um they might be hazing me a bit they might be pushing me a bit, you know, and, and it could even be taken as an interesting game. You know, I might actually take interest into somebody 
talking to me like that. You know what I mean? But somebody with fake hair, like a like a wig on their head, going, ha ha, your hair looks ridiculous. You look like an idiot. You know, at that point, and they might not even be aware that I know that they're wearing a wig. You know, but if they're wearing a wig, chances are when, when in that situation, I will not reply to them like, well, I'm very offended. Please do not say that to me. I don't like that. I'm going to leave right now. You know, I'm not going to talk like that. You know, and kids do stuff like that. Like, oh, I don't want to get in trouble. So screw you. You know, I probably, you know, I probably say like bitch or, 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 or dude, because, you know, I, I don't want because these days people are so into snitching. eh? Uh, but, but let me finish the thing first. You know, I, I could be like, listen, bitch or, or, or nigga, you know, I don't appreciate what you just said. You fucking wig wearing motherfucker. You know what I mean? And I don't know where that will lead to, but we'll leave it at that. Now, I do want to say something. You know, if you have a black card or a tough guy card or a gangster card or a mafioso card or whatever card you have, you know, if you're going to start snitching, like you already know the deal. You know what I mean? If, if, if a guy snitches on me, for you, not even calling him a word, just using the word nigga. You know, I'm probably thinking that's some really dumb shit, you know? And there are people like that. You know, there are people who use that card. Like, you know, you have certain races, say to certain races, oh, we're more stronger physically than you. We're more better athletes and stuff. And, you know, you when you find, you'll find out, how to find out where someone's heart is, is, is when they meet somebody tougher, you know? They meet somebody who's, who's, who's naturally, it's not in their race and is stronger, more athletic, and they're like, okay, well, guess what? I'm very manipulative, I'm very intelligent, and I'm, I'm, I'm politically intelligent, and, and, and I'm gonna snitch on you. You know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna tell the, I'm gonna tell the boss that, you use that word in a very disrespectful way. I'm going to tell the boss I use that word on me. You know what I mean? It's like, um, you know, because, you know, some people, do, we, we, you know, we don't really understand stuff. You know, I got to tell you, I mean, Latinos were always from, first of all, Latin people. And I've talked about this. We don't need to go into detail. Latin people have always been very, you know, warlike. Like, like they're, not, we're, they're not, they don't go, they're, they're kind of like good to deal with war. The best way to put it. And and even Latinos, I mean, that race, that Latino race, you got to understand, like, that when when they mix with the Latin and, 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 and they mix, you know, they actually, because, you know, the two of them were at war, you know, and you had these Latin people from Europe um, and they had their own war style. Now, obviously, they, they did win the war, but but I mean, they had their own style of war, basically. And we're not going to get into that. I could It would take me half an hour to talk about that, maybe even hours. So they had their own style of war, but... The indigenous, the people of that land were also very, I would say, good at war. I mean, I mean, naturally they were good at war. Like they were warriors. They did used to go to war with each other. They had tribes and empires that used to go to war with each other. And they were a warring people. I would say both of them were warring people. One just did war in a different way, had a different religion, had a different home. And, and, and the same thing could be said about the other, but they were already pro like, they were already prone into war and, and, and they understand and how to live and, and, and fight in war, you know? So, you know, when you have sometimes people, they just, you know, the thing is like the best thing for you to do, you know, and, and this is what I hate is that like true life and mob deep, you know, like mob deep understood that they got punk, you know, and do you remember that freestyle in that, in that beef video, that true saw kick when he goes at the end, he goes, how are you going to call yourself the murderers when we the killers? And he pauses. And he ends it with nigga, <laughs> right? He ends it with that. And, you know, Mob, and I like the way Mob Deep responded because Havik was like, listen, man, it's all supposed to be about music. Part of you goes, dude, let's just leave it, leave this out of the video. And, and, and Havik goes, look, dude, like, 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 you know, like, why should we get into fighting when it's just about music? You know, leave it at music. Let's not get into fight because what if somebody dies over that? Then, you know, it's, it, when, when it's just supposed to be music. Now, I like the way Havik handled that. I like the way Havik handled that. I like the way Prodigy handled that. And, and that's why I still listen to their music till today. And I listened to it back then too. Is because, you know, it was very like, like they handled it the right way I felt, you know. And, um, and, and that was the thing was that, you know, was that True Life was being treated like a funny style nigga. He thought these guys were hardcore street cats, which, which, which they, they weren't. They weren't at that level and they were kind of afraid. So, they, so they didn't go on with it, but they, but, but they humbly gave their peace. And I think that was more than what true life wanted to be very honest. Um, 
but I mean, yeah, you know, you'll have people play a certain card and then it's like, and then it's like, you know, like when you beat them at their card, they're like, okay, let's just resort to some kind of bitch tactics, you know, and that happens, man. It's, 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 it's a disappointing thing because, you know, for, for you, for if that's all you had, like if you were like, if you're an artist and all you rap about is shootings and gangs and wars and all that stuff. And then you go soft and weak, you know, it's like, it's like it uh, pretty much takes your card away, you know. I, I I think I think at that moment, you know, Mob Deep knew that they were just an you know, artistic or music musical group, and and you know, then it's just like, dude, just stick to music. Don't try to come in this world. Don't try to disrespect people or insult people, you know. But but some of them are very smart, man. They won't they won't disrespect you right away. They won't, you know. But 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 they'll sneak in. They'll try act like they're your friend. That, that I would say professional snitches. That's what they do. You know, um, there are snitches who don't want to snitch. They snitch when they're like in a really tough spot. Oh, I'm in a tough spot. I'm going to snitch. And then you have snitches that are very intelligent, very clever. You know, oh, I'm going to get friendly with this guy. You know what I mean? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make friends with him. They start making friends with the guy. Oh, dude. So what are you into, man? What, what else? Do you, and, and they keep getting information. They keep kicking it out and snitching on them, you know? And, and that does happen. Some guys are very clever at that. You know, a guy loses his man card, loses everything. And all he wants is like, he's upset because, you know, people in his life are doing certain things. And he wants to go after another guy just to snitch on him, you know, and to show that, you know, you thought that you were the man and you were so high. But I took your ass down by snitching on you. You know, I mean, it's crazy, man. And and guys openly snitch and they're not even ashamed about it. It's insane. Anyways, I'm done with this. That's the video for me. Another random video. And uh, see you later.